Congratulations. Hooray. Celebrate. Cheers. Party. Celebrate. Time to celebrate. Time for a celebration. Forever 313, where the true stories are told and great music is played. In My House is three years old and the spirit of 313 will never fade. To T. Carlita at In My House, sending congratulations and the best of wishes to for no one else in all the world deserves them more than you congratulations from stevie commit thy works unto the lord and thy thoughts shall be established proverbs 16 verse 3 Welcome to another episode of the In My House Techno Music Show. I am your host, T. Carlita, and it is the end of the month. 2017 is here, and we are closing out the month of January, and we're reaching in the archives this week with an interview with my man, Cool and Smooth, Feel the Mix. Plus, we are a new segment that we will start featuring at the end of each month um, called Remembering Them who were born during the month of whatever month we're in and who are no longer with us. So this month we're going to share the spotlight and shine some light on Ken Collier who was born January the 9th, 1949 and he passed in february 19th 1996 but we're just celebrating the life that he gave to this community and as a matter of fact with a little help from my girl dj scent she did a really cool dj sense two cents about ken collier so we'll bring that so you can hear her story and we'll share some more stuff that we can find about mr ken collier Plus, born in January, January 18th, 1955, to be exact, Mr. Frankie Knuckles, 
the whistle song man and a whole lot more so this is t carlita stay tuned sit back relax and i want to give a special thank you to this week's show supporters wayne county treasurer's office and the label t carlita up next interview with phil the mix right after phenomenal woman by craig anderson featuring the phenomenal woman vocalist poet leader and guide who is no longer with us but her voice too lives on mrs maya angelou enjoy phenomenal woman and then after that feel the mix you are in my house hosted by t carlita where the true stories are told and great music is played phenomenal woman many people wonder where my secret lies i'm not cute or built to suit a fashion model side when i start to tell them they think i'm telling lies i say it's in the reach of my arm the span of my hips the stride of my step the curl of my lips i'm a woman phenomenal i walk into a room just as cool as you please and to a man the fellows stand or fall down on their knees. Then they swarm around me, a hive of honeybees. I say, it's the fire in my eye, the flash of my teeth, the swing in my waist, the joy in my feet. I'm a woman, phenomenally. Men themselves have wondered what they see in me. They try so much, but they can't touch my inner mystery. When I try to show them, they say they still can't see. I say, it's in the arch of my back, the sun of my smile, the ride of my breast, the grace of my style. I'm a woman, phenomenally. Now you understand just why my head's not bowed. I don't shout or jump about or have to talk real loud. When you see me passing, it ought to make you proud. I say, it's in the click of my heel, the bend of my head. All right, we are live in the house with mommy, my brother, Phil the Mix. What's up, Phil? Hey, 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 with what's that, going on, With Tina? that smile, you got it, you got it. <laughs> Dude, listen, let me just on. cut to the chase. Let me tell you what I heard about you. Okay. We in the house. We at the table. We talking junk now. All right, let I me heard... see if you lying first. I got to see if you, let me see if this is the truth. Well, the, ru- <laughs> the rumor is that everywhere that you hit the box, it was on fire. They seen fire uh, coming from underneath your feet, and you had it going on like that. That's what I heard. Uh, it was just a little light, little barn fire it was nothing <laughs> no, no said, said said that they had to fire call the fire department on you because oh, you was smoking like that man i don't know about all that but no, I, you don't do a little something something you know? i know <laughs> i know i know so where did you pl- where where didn't you play this past weekend really you be bouncing around you, you know what playing I, over I, here I, and over there and <laughs> over yonder's way and everywhere listen I, you know i try and stay uh active as, as much as i can uh I was, I was, you know, here and there, uh, TV lounge uh, Friday night, and uh, that's in Detroit, downtown Detroit. Also, I was at uh, Saturday night, I was at Secreto uh, in Ferndale. Uh, Is that a new place or something? You know what? It's a cigar bar. Oh, that's what On I uh, Nine Mile off of Woodward, and, uh, and that's Ferndale. And it's a really, really uh, uh, swank, uh, what do you say, really sexy place is really it? nice really nice very nice you have to come check it out it's it's a really nice place i think you'll you'll really enjoy it um, and it's in it's in ferndale it's in ferndale right on nine mile I, so if you know where como's is it's yeah. on the other side of woodward okay so that's uh that's where it would be uh on the same side as the westbourne market i think that's where okay yeah on that same side so, so. do they get to the smoke in there you know what's unique about the cigar bar uh Sec- secreto um the front part of it 
is the smoking part of it, which is it's, it can be heavy at times. But the uh, the the back part of it, it's no smoking, which is nice. So it's actually two rooms of music. So it it so the back room, if you're not into the cigar and the uh, cigar smoke, then the the back room is fine for you. Oh, so okay. it, it it really works uh, for the ones that don't like smoke, and okay. then the ones that. Uh, like to uh, smoke a little cigar is the front room is nice too nice bar you know what I really like about Detroit we are really getting creative in yes. where music is being played now you know that it is it, and, it, and it is it is wonderful uh, the way uh, you know someone made mention that uh, we here in Detroit are spoiled and I, I think that's a good thing um, mm-hmm. because uh, not many cities like us with the musical background um, has it like we have it, and I, I think it's just a, a, a phenomenal thing right. uh, for uh, all of us to take it in, and that's here to be able to experience it. You I, know, I agree. I agree. So let's let's talk about Phil. <laughs> we know you are the mix, right? Right. Or is it the mix? Because some people be saying duh. Yeah, you know that's that's the uh, the inner hood lingo uh, version right there. But uh, what I feel the mix. The mix is the uh, you know the more, uh, pronounced the more corporate way. Uh, way pronounced right there. Way. Right there we go. Right there right. you go. So actually, how long have you been um, doing this? Good question. You know, I've uh, actually been mixing and playing since uh, 1988. Oh, okay. Which is not very long in, in a lot of people's eyes. But the thing before 1988, I was still a big uh, musical fan of house music and music in general. I was, uh, my father was a big time jazz head. My mother was Motown. And okay. that's what I was raised at. So okay. the music is in my soul and in my blood. It runs deep. Definitely. Right. That's true. Now, what go? now... It was a, di- a documentary. Mike Clark was just in here. Right. And Mike, what up? Yeah. <laughs> Big bro ham. Yes. Um, and I, he had this, somebody asked him a really good question. I said, okay, I'm going to steal that question. Because, you know, journalists have to borrow from others every once right. in a while. Absolutely. So what is in the mind of a DJ fill the mix? You know, you know, and, and that's a good question also. And every DJ has their idea of what should happen in their mind. In my mind, I tell you what is the people, the crowd, mm-hmm. the if them feeling me, mm-hmm. um, I think nothing but about them and playing for them. If they're not dancing, I'm not happy. Right. If they're dancing, that's what I want. I want them to be able to say, I dance like I haven't danced before in my life. So that's that's basically how I approach it. You know, like I'm gonna I'm gonna play like it's my last time. I'm going to be like the dancers anonymous. <laughs> I am T Carlita and I have danced to fill the mix, trust me. I'm a danceaholic. Yes, I love it. Yeah. I love Matter it. Matter of fact, you guys did something here in Highland Park um where you guys had we took it to the streets. It was so awesome at the uh, McGregor Library there, the yeah, uh, Highland Park yeah, Festival. Remember right that? There. I remember that. Yeah. That was uh me and my partner in crime, Bruce Bailey. We yep. did our Charlie and Brown thing and uh that is so much fun, so much fun, and yeah. that was I remember that day. They were cutting very well. up out there. Oh my boy. gosh, that was a lot of fun. So you know, being in the DJ booth behind the turntables because you do wax and you do everything. Right. So when you are concentrating on it, how are you able to like as a DJ? I think how are you able to multitask to be able to concentrate on putting your records on, and then also when do you? Like in the DJ booth, when do you really have time to look out and see? You know, I um, that's a good question. Also, well, you know, I'm I'm very focused. Um, and and the ones that are really into uh, the music side of it, um, he's focused, and uh, you 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 just you're just focused on 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 moving the crowd and and your music and what you think would be a great so, uh, song selection to to keep the crowd going. Mm-hmm. You know, that's uh. And it's just it's just focus and the time, uh, you know, and then experience, too, you know, has been doing it as long as I have. And a lot of us, a lot of the other great DJs in this city, um, it just becomes second nature. Mm-hmm. And uh, it's you either have it or you don't. Right. You know, and uh, I think it flows uh, real good with me and a lot of us in the city. We right. we, we definitely move it. 
Right. So you do more of the house genre, or do you do both house and techno genres? Well, you know, I'm I'm I dibble and dabble a little in the techno, but I'm more of the on the house side. Mm-hmm. Um, and I also do a little uh, R and B and a little bit of this, a little bit of that, old right. school and exactly. stuff like that. So I I, I dibble I nibble with a lot of other little stuff too, you know. <laughs> but uh, the house side is definitely it, though. And I know that um, I guess what I'm hearing a lot more the house the house music to me is kind of changing a little bit to you or mm. do you think or what you know it's 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 changing a little um but uh, for the most part I think it's uh the scene is getting maybe a little smaller and uh I think what needs to be done is um we need to reach out to our younger audience and uh and gravitate toward them and and, and let them hear some of this good music because I think a lot of them are missing out on a lot of this good stuff. You know, I so um, I think a lot of us are getting older, um, and we're uh, you know we have lives and families and things like that. So it, I think in that way it's changing. But I think if you love the music, uh, be it techno or house, it's it's going to always still be there in your heart. Right. You know, it's going to be there. It's just sometimes we just can't make it out as much as we used to. True. That's true. <laughs> as we get older, you yeah, know. So. Right. So let's talk about promotion. Now, you you are part of a nice uh, collaborative group. Yes. Yes. Um, let's talk a little bit about the collaboration process and why you all have actually been very successful at doing it for quite a while, actually. Yes, you know, and I, I, what I've noticed is, um, and it's a good thing, um, some people look at it negatively and some people look at it um, positively. Um, I noticed with DJs, a lot of DJs, you form a, a somewhat of a team. Mm -hmm. And so when you create your team, you bond as a team and you work together to, to try and become a little more successful. Uh, my team, which is Team Tandem, uh, which, you know, Bruce Bailey, uh, Kelly Holmes, uh, Steve Love, Mike Todd, uh, you know, a, a couple of other guys, if I forget your name, I'm sorry. But, uh, you know, we we try and, and and the whole object of it is 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 a great time and moving moving the dance floor, you mm -hmm. know, and uh, which I think uh, what the Techno Militia do what I, and I love their work and, and, and various other groups uh, in the city, you know, mm -hmm. we're all about the same thing, you know, right. moving the crowd and, and having a great time. And that's know. the other thing when you you mention uh, Detroit Techno Militia and, you know, like even today is like a perfect example. Like people think, you know, the Detroit versus everybody, you know, <laughs> seriously, Detroit versus everybody doesn't mean negative. No, it's not. It's not. At all. At all. No, it's, uh, well, you know, and like I say, we, we here in Detroit, we're spoiled, um, with all this great music here and uh, yeah. and I and I and I'm so glad that a lot of our our old school uh, cats like uh, Delano Smith yeah. and uh, some of the big names Norm and even Mike Clark and a lot of them get outside the city they go worldwide to give the people what we do here that's in our backyard we, we take for granted right you know but uh, we give you know they give our our love to the world so and, and I and I love that mm -hmm. about what we have here you know right so let, how uh how can somebody reach you well you know i'm uh if if you're in the city uh you can definitely uh, uh catch me at a tv lounge i'm a resident dj there that's downtown detroit oh um, on what night on, on friday nights okay. usually on friday nights uh you can catch me on my uh facebook uh, fill the mix um and uh you know that's usually you can you can catch me one of the two ways like that and then i'm doing various parties around the city with with my team tandem to also so right um, now you guys got you you just had a and I, I i have to get up super early in the morning i didn't get to make it but you had the um awards ceremony oh which was fabulous Please, yes yeah and we, who were some of the people that we were honored? honored some of our um legends here yes. in, in in the city uh gary chandler um al esther uh Stacy Hotwax, mm -hmm. uh, to name a few. Right. Uh, even the the ones that uh, are not with us today, Ken Collier. Ken Collier. Oh my yeah. gosh, yeah, just just phenomenal. And uh, I think that was a great thing that uh, First Friday did to uh, bring that uh, attention and 
and and award those that's been doing it for a long time right. in, in right. our city, and that's a, that's a great thing. And I love that you all honored Laura Gavor. Yeah, lo- oh my oh, gosh, we. yes, Nancy. And we, Nancy and we is love such her. a spark. We love you, Nancy. Yes, yes. Oh, my gosh. oh, and her sister, phenomenal. Yes. Yeah, so, that yeah. is so awesome. So you got a, we got a mix that you uh, put together. Yes, I did. So yes, I did. Uh, what's on? What's what's the level? Ah, well, you know, it's um. Quite high. You know, as a speaking of that mix, this is special because everybody's been waiting on uh, this mix. So uh, if you see me in the street, I might have a little something for you. you did. People have been waiting a long time for a mix for me. So you're the first that has it, Tina. Oh, so, shoot. Yeah, this is very special. Very a, special. A world premiere? Yes, world premiere right here. Hot dog. <laughs> I got a world premiere. Right. Well, while we queuing this up, let's talk. What, now, you're, you're playing on Friday. Give the time, location, and address of TV Bar, because everybody don't know where TV Bar is. You know, it's on Grand River, um, and I should know the address. Just say next to Cast yeah, Tech. Yeah, next, right, next to Cast Tech. But listen, we're doing a special thing, Charlie and Brown. We're going to be at Mix tomorrow uh, with Mike Clark and uh, a bunch of other, uh, Earl McKinney, uh, a bunch of other guys. So we're doing a, a special tag team tomorrow at Mix, so the Schoolhouse Project, so. We're doing that tomorrow. That's going to be a lot of fun. All right, Phil, the mix or the mix, depending on where you're from. I appreciate you also. We finally got you on. We've been yes, talking for a yes, long we have. time. I'm so proud of you, Tina, too. You oh, said you were going to do it. I know. I'm so proud yeah, of you. That's how far back yes, we go. Yes, yes, way back. You <laughs> said, I'll say, do it, Tina. It do it. The, it. Right. It right, when it was just in its conception. So that was, that's awesome. So we're going to check out Phil here. Oh, shoot. What you know about that, <laughs> Phil? Yeah. All right, Phil. Thanks a lot. Hang out. We're going to get some photos and hang out with everybody. Sounds There's good. so many people in the house yes, tonight. I'm so is. excited. I love it, too. So we ain't gonna, we're going to listen to Phil the Mix, and I'll be back to close out shortly. Yeah.
County Treasurer Eric Sabri. If you're facing tax foreclosure, you should have received a notice of a show cause hearing. These hearings are being held to advise you of all the options available to help you save your property. The hearing notices indicate an assigned date and time to attend. The hearings will be held during the month of January, beginning on January 10th on the 8th floor of 400 Monroe in downtown Detroit. The show cause hearings are designed to help prevent foreclosure. I want you to keep your property and we are here to help. In addition to our staff, there will be free financial counseling, legal services, and other public and private partners willing to assist you in avoiding property tax foreclosure. For more information, call 313-224-5990 or email us at taxinfo at waynecounty.com. If you have already entered into a payment plan or paid your 2014 and prior taxes in full, you do not have to attend. Please take advantage of this opportunity to avoid tax foreclosure. Ken Collier is the Techno Talk featured artist for this week. Loved by many, and many have learned from him. Ken Collier would move that crowd like nobody else during his time. His selection of high energy dance music grabs you and made you stay on that dance floor. In a 2004 Metro Times article, they credit Collier for pioneering a style of mixing and participating in an underground network of clubs and parties that would eventually expose him to and influence generations of future DJs, producers, promoters, and entertainers. In the words of the late great Aaron Carl, Ken Collier is the man who turned me in onto house music. He is the man who taught me, both directly and indirectly, what it is to feel the music. He brought us together in a way that nobody else could, black, white, straight, gay, whatever. We were all his children. 
and when he worked those decks, he ruled us all. Detroit will never be the same without him. All of us who are in the Detroit scene today, we are who we are because of Ken. I am grateful to have known him. I am grateful to have been influenced by him. I will continue to honor him because if it were not for him and heaven, I would not be who I am today. Thank you, Ken. Rest in peace. I love you. Aaron Carl, rest in peace also to him. And yes, Ken Collier's name is still fresh on the minds of those who loved him, played with him, and most certainly those who have had the opportunity to dance with him. Rest in peace, Mr. Ken Collier. You may be gone from heaven on Seven Mile Award, but you will forever be in, the, in our hearts from heaven above. history of Club Heavens and me experiencing Ken Collier. Club Heavens was located at the corner of Seven Mile Road and Woodward Avenue in Detroit, Michigan. It was a two-story building with the first floor being the gas station bar, but on the second floor was Club Heaven. You can enter into the club via two stairways. There are multiple rooms in this space. There were a couple of rooms just for seating and chilling. And then there was this long hallway where they had the restrooms and the co check area where Miss Cakes worked. Then there was the main room, the dance floor area. When you entered off the hallway towards the front, they had this big fan. There at the DJ booth, which was raised was over to the side there was a wall of mirrors on the opposite side <laughs> man the stories I could tell about those mirrors on the other side of the room were darkened windows where you could look out but people outside couldn't see in you could see the street and the night sky also on that same side of the room was a spotlight where the circle boys would kick and get their life. It had a row of bass cabinets that pretty much became a stage for the dancers who would lip sync to vocal tracks. There were tweeter horns high in the corners. Definitely one of the best sound systems during that time, if not still one today. 
that thing could bump. I mean, leaving you deaf, but loving it. The maestro on the decks was the godfather of house, Mr. Ken Collier. The music, the atmosphere, the people who came from all over the world to experience the vibe created at Club Heavens. Man, the late night scene, it received a true treat being able to enjoy this gym. I discovered Heavens in 1991 and became a regular. Collecting Ken Collier tapes, man, I mean, it danced into him and the amazing sound system. Also, some of the guest DJs that came through. People like Melvin Hill. I remember seeing DJ Cedric from DC. Oh man, working. I mean, working the box in the crowd. I also remember seeing some of the drag queens competing for this pageant called Miss Heavens, as well as the other few performers like Daje and Kashmir. Man, that was legendary. I also remember seeing DJs coming in with their white label records. People like Kelly Han, Delano Smith, handing them the can and he supporting them and so many others. Everyone and anyone came through heavens. It was a beautiful experience in my life. There will never be another club heavens or like the Godfather of House, Mr. Ken Collier. If you were lucky enough to have been able to experience the Austin history, I so have so many amazing stories and memories about this place. Thank you for taking out the time to go through a memory reflection of the House Blast and DJ Sense Two Cents. You are in my house, hosted by T. Carlita, where the true stories are told and great music is played. Right now, we're going to take a moment to honor the late Frankie Knuckles. And bringing it to the forefront of a global pop culture. He cut his teeth on the nightclubs of New York before relocating to Chicago and helping make that city the dance capital in the mid 80s. Dance Star Lifetime Achievement Award goes to Give It Up, Frankie Knuckles. You people are really amazing. Give me a minute, I'm just a little bit nervous. Um, you know, this is one of those awards I thought they always gave to people that um, have pretty much earned their day out of the sun, so to speak, like, you know, their career's over with. And um, mine ain't over yet. <laughs> Not by any stretch of the imagination. And so all of you, believe me, there's no way possible that I could have imagined that back in 1982 at the warehouse that I would wake up one day and be here in front of you receiving an award like this. Thank you very much. I love you all. He's known as the godfather of house. We are proud to induct you into the Dance Music Hall of Fame. Yes. How are you? Come on. Please step up. It's official, I'm for real. <laughs> I've been working all my life to get right here amongst all these people whose records I have played for so long and um, who've inspired me so much. And now to be friends with you, not just inspiration, but to be friends with so many of you. Thank you so, so much for this. <clears throat> I tell you, when I, got, when I got the first phone call about this, I kept thinking that there were so many other people that deserve this so much more than I do. And um, a lot of them are not here anymore, but I will carry this for them. And I'll carry you the love and the support that you've all given me all these years. Thank you very much. I asked Frankie to do this for me. Now, he and I meet every once in a while at our favorite restaurant together. Ever since I've known you, first of all, as soon as I found out his name was Frankie Knuckles, I don't screw with him. No matter what he wants, I won't do anything. <laughs> Can you tell me, I'm sure everybody knows but one guy in the room, 
Where did the Frankie Knuckles came from when your real name was Horowitz or something? <laughs> no, I was, I was born with this name. Is that true? Yeah, absolutely. You didn't, I mean, you didn't, after my father, You didn't yeah. go after a producer and give him a knuckle sandwich, nothing? Well, there was a couple of times I wanted to, but... <laughs> <laughs> How about a nice round of applause for a great performer? Thank you. <laughs> I'm Wayne County Treasurer Eric Sabree. If you're facing tax foreclosure, you should have received a notice of a show cause hearing. These hearings are being held to advise you of all the options available to help you save your property. The hearing notices indicate an assigned date and time to attend. The hearings will be held during the month of January, beginning on January 10th on the 8th floor of 400 Monroe in downtown Detroit. The show cause hearings are designed to help prevent foreclosure. I want you to keep your property and we are here to help. In addition to our staff, there will be free financial counseling, legal services and other public and private partners willing to assist you in avoiding property tax foreclosure. For more information, call 313-224-5990 or email us at taxinfo at waynecounty.com. If you have already entered into a payment plan or paid your 2014 and prior taxes in full, you do not have to attend. Please take advantage of this opportunity to avoid tax foreclosure. Well, that concludes this week's episode of the In My House Techno Music Show. I am your host, T. Carlita, and it has definitely been a pleasure putting this show together and bringing it to you directly here on the In My House 65.com website. Until next week, we are keeping the wheel spinning with a few videos that I have liked over the past life cycle, I guess you can say. So enjoy them. See you next week. And don't forget, In My House Techno Music Show, where the true stories are told and great music is played.
You Are In My House, hosted by T. Carlita, where the true stories are told and great music is played.